Max for all, all for Max. Yes. But in Saundarya Ramanujan's today, truly personified the theme mathematics for a better world through their magical presentations. It was indeed an iconic initiative taken up by both our students and teachers. I really salute the extraordinarily phenomenal effort to put up this show today. I wish many more second Ramanujans to be born in our society as well as in our country in the coming days. I thank you. Good morning to all. Myself Jayant Acharya from Great Six. Today I am going to explain about Pythagoras theorem. This is the hypothesis. This is the hypothesis. This is the perpendicular and this is the base. This, per this hypothesis will exactly fit in the perpendicular and base. Equals minus 4. On the left side, we write the sum of these two numbers 
or these two numbers. Both these will result in the same answer which is 94. And minus 2 into minus 4 equals plus 8. Here we should be careful that the, the number of digits on the right side should be equal to the number of zeros in the base. Here there are two zeros in the base so 8 will be written as 08. So we got the answer that 98 times 96 which equals 9408. One more problem. 88 into 85. Here both these numbers are equal to base. So 88 minus 100 equals minus 12 and 85 minus 100 equals minus 15. Here we write the sum and here we write the product. 88 plus of minus 15 or 85 plus of minus 12 equals 73. And minus 12 into minus 15 equals 180. Here as there are two zeros in the base, but there are three digits on the right side. So one will be carried to the next number. We cannot take 8 or 0 because we should take only the leftmost side of this. So 7480. We got the answer 88 into 85 which equals 7480. And we should be careful that both these multipliers should be lesser than the base. If there are if there are no, more than the base, we cannot get the correct answer. Thank you. Thank you. Numbers are added 
if the sum is single digit, then no problem. Suppose if the sum is double digit, then one number will be written, other number will be carried to next position. Now, let me explain with these math lab materials. These are ones cubes, ten rods, and hundred squares. For example, 184 plus 258. position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now twelve is regrouped into tens and ones. Instead of placing the one scoop, I will place the ten straws. Now, this will be carried to next position. In, in, ten, in one's place, my answer is two. Now, let me count ten position. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. Hundred and ten, hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty, hundred and forty. Now, hundred and forty is regrouped into tens and hundreds. Instead of placing the ten sorts, I will place the hundred squares. Now, this will be carried to next position. Now, four is my answer. Now, let me count hundreds position. 100, 200, 300, 400. 400 is my answer. My total answer is 442. It is quite interesting to find the solution like this. But always as this is not possible, we use plus sign and find the solution with pen and paper method. Therefore, maths has solution for every problem with reason. Thank you. My name. This is not the white. These are two D shapes. Two D means two dimensions. This shape is flat. It has four sides and four corners. And all sides are equal in length.
In this examples, all the denominators are not equal. So these are unlike fraction. The number above the line is called numerator and the number below the line is called denominator and the line is called as fraction. But fraction is very important in our daily life. For example, today I brought 10 pieces of pizza. In my house there are 5 members. I, my brother, my father, my mother and me. So today I brought 10 pieces. I should give everyone equal parts of pizza. So I give 2 by 10 part to everyone. 2 by 10, 2 by 10, 5 times it becomes 10 by 10. Now we divided equal parts to everyone. And for another example, a half cup of tea, 1 by 4 cup of sugar, etc. Thank you. I am here to explain about the Tulsi Das calculation to find the distance between the sun and the earth. Let's start. Tulsi Das found the distance between the sun and the earth by his own calculation. He didn't use any devices like calculator, telescope or any computer. He, he calculated by his own formula. Have you ever heard Hanuma Chalisa? Anuman Chalisa is a holy book which was written by Anuman. In this, in this book, is written by Tulsi Das. In this book, on the, there are many Hanuman Shlokas. Anuman assuming is assuming the sun like a ripe mango. He jumped and catched it. This incident recounts in the Hanuman Chalisa. The word that extracts, the line that extracts is Yuga Sahasra Yodana Parabhanu Yo. Now, what is Yuga? According to the Bhagavad Gita, uh, one day of Brahma is called Kalpa. Uh, that is equal to thousand yugas, and uh, uh, with, uh, he, this is equal to four hundred uh, four million three hundred and twenty thousand uh, years uh, uh, equal to one yuga. What is Yojana? Yojana is the uh, uh, Vedic uh, measure of distances and approximately uh, equal to 8 miles. Yuga Yojana is equal to 12,000 into 1,000 Yojanas and is equal to 96 million miles and 23.6 billion in kilometer, which is much closer, to, much closer to the modern scientist. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Tachi of class 8. Today I'm here to tell about an interesting topic in mathematics which is a pie chart. Pie chart is a circular graph used to represent data in it. The formula used to divide pie chart is individual, individual data divided by total data into 360. If I tell you that a schedule of a student includes study, school and sleep hours, you might be confused that how a student manages to spend time on each of a day. As a student, my routine is very simple. But if I explain in my words, you might be you might get bored. So I will use a pie chart to explain the same data on it. It will make my topic more interesting and also save our time. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. Have a precious day. My name is Vaishnavi Govinda. I am studying in first standard D section. Today I am going to explain what is addition. Addition means counting forward and one hour two is more. Now I am going to explain a story with addition. Once there was a she was having six magical hats. She made with her magic still two more magic hats. Then now six plus two is equal to eight hats. Now totally the which have eight magical hats. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Prapti. I'm going to explain you ordinal numbers. First I wish you Most of the ordinal numbers end 
be explaining about the basic concepts of trigonometry. This is a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle is a triangle which consists an angle of 90 degree. In a right angle triangle, the side opposite to 90 degree is hypotenuse. And let us consider C as theta. We are considering C as theta because we don't know the value of C or C is undefined. And the side opposite to theta is perpendicular side or opposite side. And the remaining side is adjacent or base. Trigonometry is the study of ang uh, study of relation between the angles and the sides of a right angle triangle. There are six trigonometric functions, namely sine theta, uh, cosine theta, tan theta, cotan theta, sec theta and cosec theta. Here, uh, in this triangle, angle A is equal to 0 degree and uh, sine of 0 degree is 0. How? I'll, uh, I'll say it. Sine is opposite by hypotenuse as A is 0 degree. AC overlaps us on AB. And when AC overlaps us on AB, opposite side will be 0 and uh, hypotenuse will remain same 1. So 0 divided by 1 is 0. Similarly, this, cir uh, this circle does the similar function. S uh, here zero, sine of 0 degree is 0 and here the sine of 0 degree is 0. Sine of uh, 30 degree is uh, 1 divided by 2. Sine of uh, 45 degree is uh, 1 divided by root 2. Sine of uh, 60 degree is uh, 3 root 2. Sine of 90 degrees 1. Trigonometry can be used to find of trigonometry can be used to find height of any object without actually measuring it. We must know the distance between us and the object and the angle of elevation. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Trisha. I'm Aishwarya. This is the model of icosahedron. Icosahedron is a polyhedron. Polyhedron is a solid figure which has more than six faces. This model is based on golden head In fifth century BC. Named Hippacus. He discovered that golden ratio was neither a whole number nor an irrational number. Its ratio is 1.61. Golden ratio is also known as God's ratio because God has created many beautiful things in the world in this concept. Golden ratio is seen everywhere in the nature. It creates an organic balance and also develops in a pleasing population. For example, tides, eggs, rose, and many more. Golden rectangle in architecture determines the pleasing uh, dimensional relationship between the width and the height of the building. For example, Pantheon, Taj Mahal, and Peace of Pyramid, etc. So, Leonardo da Vinci, the Mauritius paintings, it was because this was a photo of the golden rectangle. The golden rectangle is also in the human space. The head comes the golden rectangle are uh, with the size of the Good morning, myself Dhanushas, myself Vidwatvi and we are studying in 10K. As you know, computer has played a vital role nowadays. Binary is one of the basic knowledge that you should have in computer. Binary means, uh, by means 2, binary means 0 and 1. You can count 10, uh, you can count 10 fingers, 1023 values. But in decimal, the 10 fingers has only 10 values. So, for counting uh, numbers in our hands, firstly we should start from right hand thumb which is 1, this is 2, this is 4, this is 8, this is 16, this is 32, this is 64, 128, 256 and 512. So to add in binary, it is not a normal addition, we, we must remember this table which is 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, no carries. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, no carries. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, no carries. 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, 1 carry. By using this, we have added two, two binary numbers, 13 and 23, and we got the sum as 36. We can convert decimal to binary numbers. As uh, uh, it has only 0 and 1 value, we should divide it with 2. 2 15s are 30, 0. 2 7s are 14, 1 reminder. 2 3s are 6, 1 reminder. 2 1s are 2, 1 reminder. You should stop until we get quotient as 1. You should take from downwards to upwards. 1 1 1 1 0. The 30 decimal, the binary value is 1 1 1 1 0. It is used in computer architecture and programming like C, Java, and making games, etc. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings to all on the occasion of celebrating National Mathematics Day. As a tribute to the man of infinity, we have the expo today with the theme Max for a Better World. Students of 1 to 10 standard put up their Max affinity in an enchanting fashion. 
I would like to appreciate all the students and teachers for this wonderful show. Greetings to all. Welcome for the Soundarya School Math Expo. We expecting lot of mathematicians, scientists for the future generation. By keeping that in the mind, I as a coordinator of math department, Soundarya School, discussed with uh, our uh, colleagues, why can't we celebrate mathematics as an expo? Because many feel it is difficult to make it an expo because uh, many are not interested in this. When I explained little bit, they all felt very happy and arranged. Because my view and their view is, we should give platform for the students to explain their views and the subject, what they have interest in mathematics. Because maths is a very vast subject. N number of topics are there. By keeping that in the mind, we ordered our students. I tell you again, ordered. You should make something. Then they prepared. Uh, we, as teachers, not, uh, I tell you, the, we punish them. We, as teachers, gave a lot of the main aim of shall I? okay the main aim of our math expo is to give platform for the students uh, to give importance in expressions how to face the public and how to face the emergencies because in math when we go on explaining something very difficult situation we have to face. How to face in that? They should learn. Uh, this is our main motto and uh, the aim of this expedition. That's why we have organized. So uh, people, you go through the videos in this and uh, tell your inferences what we can do in future. Okay, thank you. I'm Anushka D from grade 8. Hi everyone, hypergeometric series is a topic which is based on probability and which comes under statistics. The hypergeometric distribution is a type of discrete distribution that represents the probability of the number of success achieved on performance in number of trials of a particular experiment provided. In mathematics, hypergeometric function is a special function represented by the hypergeometric series that includes many other special functions as specific or limiting cases. It is a solution of a second order linear ordinary differential equation. Srinivas Ramanujan has done many researches on this hypergeometric series. Thank you.